Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm really excited for today's video because I'm doing something a tad bit different. Not cartoon related or anything. But it's portraits. And normally I do something cartoony and fun for St. Patrick's Day. But I'm going to change it up a bit. And we're going to do something a little bit different. Something on the realistic side, yet yeah, cartoony. But still on the realistic side, on the realistic side you'll see in a minute. But I decided to do a St. Patrick's Day portrait. Now, I've already done some of it off camera because that would take me a while. So, uh, this is the uh, thumbnails and concept. Like, I was taking a closer class on how I could get my portraits more creative side instead of but realistic. And I learned how to find elements and different elements that you can do with your portraits. That way, my portrait could be on the little exciting side with my um, creative ideas that I come up with, combining elements from different animals. And like, say you have birds and wings, you can find them with a portrait or something. So I a lot of ideas fly in my mind and what I wanted to do. And that class opened up so many doors for me. It's like, oh my gosh, now um, I do have something that I can work with. Um, not that I did before, but anyway, so since I'm worried about different face shapes and different um, anatomy and different proportions, my art in my next sketchbook is going to be still portraits and realistic style and everything, but it's going to be more on the creative side. I've already have goals for it. I'm thinking of doing a square sketchbook next time, and um, I already have it, but I might be digging that out and starting it soon, um, just to keep something simple. But anyway, let's get on to the idea. So, the idea I came up with St. Patrick's Day, because usually I would do cartoon, um, stuff, and I had done Owen and Theo in the past, and that got me to thinking, well, what if I did a St. Patrick's Day hat, but instead of, as you see here, I wanted to get the idea down of an older, uh, male face, male face, whatever, um, wearing a St. Patrick's Day hat. Uh, well, that's kind of boring, and I wanted to be very creative with it, and I was coming up with different ideas, um, for that. Like, I was coming, I might do this into a drawing soon, but I will coming up with the idea of a flower and a male face, but... Um, just to take out, out of the ordinary, and then I was like, okay, what about the face shape? Could it be long or rectangular or, um, kind of like with the hat? So, I was mainly towards a rounder face and, um, a little bit more, I don't know, um, how I put it, uh, well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I was coming up with different ideas. I thought at first I was going to go with a bird wings, but I decided not to get that. But I had this idea and visualized a St. Patrick's Day hat for some reason. At first I was going to go with a shamrock or a four-leaf four clover, but that's too um, simple. And I just want something out there. So, with that being said, I flipped to another page. And I came up with this idea ignore the bad drawings um i came up with this idea i don't know if you could tell but it's basically um a male face or man face and a hat and he, the guy is wearing the hat so that is where we are right now so with the creative ideas i came up with it still can be realistic but it could be cartoony, and this is what I came up with. I've already spent a good hour, 30 minutes, an hour on it, like, ish, on the, um, shading. Um, it's going to take a while, but I want to get my drawing so complex. Um, and this is how I can do it, so I'm, like, so excited. So, anyways. When I learned that I could buy different ideas together in a drawing, I was like, yes, this is like, uh, and oh my gosh, I'm excited. So, with that being said, guys, if you like what you see here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. 
to our video vacation bell saying won't miss a video um so i hope you guys enjoy today's video i won't continue working this off camera but if you guys want to as always final picture will be on my instagram email anna sarah eight so go follow me on there um so i'm very tickled about how i came up with this idea um so i did this in color pencil and i'm doing the portraits and ballpoint pen and white gel pen and uh white uh color pencil for highlights um so if you have any questions what i'm using here are materials for uh the who i'm talking a lot tonight um for the materials i am using strathmore and i might have to get another sketchbook of one of these um that was just another portrait that i've done the other day but i might have to get another sketchbook of that because i brought the sketchbook um but in tone hand um i don't know but anyway this is what i'm working on right now so i'm talking a lot today so if you're still with me thank you for watching I um, let's get on finally with the video okay hey guys and welcome to today's video so i'm really excited for today's video because i am finally doing this i am finally drawing different characters and you know with different face shapes and i was just so excited and everything that i'm able to do it now because i realized that you draw the face shape first which made it easier to get the face shape down on paper and I've always done starting with the eyes and everything, but let me back up and say I am doing a St. Patrick's Day portrait and I've been taking a lot of sculpture classes and I had this vision in my head for a while now for this drawing. I just didn't know how to get about it to put it on paper. Um, but after this sculpture class, it talks about combining things and brainstorming your ideas and everything and that helped me get to this point. Um, so what am I doing here is I'm doing kind of a little bit of a different, well, not really different style, but combining things with the same packages they had. At first I had the clover, but I wanted to do something a little original and a little bit different um, than I usually do. I usually draw female faces, but today we're drawing, I, I don't know how to describe it, um, bald uh, men. Uh, so... Not that I'm wasting to do the hair today, but I decided to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, challenge myself, and try to uh, break out my comfort zone and try to um, draw different faces. And because uh, we're all unique, and I just want to point that out. And I just wanted to challenge myself a little bit. I'm always all about challenging myself and seeing what I could come up with. So, in the beginning of the video, you saw my thumbnails. I still want to do the flower portrait with the men with the male face in the middle of it. I still want, I really want to do that, but I'm holding off starting a sketchbook. Um, because I want my sketchbook, my next sketchbook to be dedicated to creative portraits and see what I can come up with. Um, I want to finish my Moleskine first so I can get a Moleskine sketchbook tour for you guys out. Um, for this one, I decided to do, um, uh, a male face and a St. Patrick's Day hat with the, another male face wearing the hat. Um, and I kind of came up with the concept last night, and I was like, oh, that would be really fun for St. Patrick's Day. So that's what this drawing is about. Um, at first, I was like, well, if I go ahead and do the pen um, drawing first, then maybe the hat will stand out. But I went ahead and did the hat off camera because... That would take a while. I've already spent a couple of hours on this drawing. Um, but for this one, I'm like, well, if I do the hat first, maybe the rest of the portrait will uh, be a better outcome instead of just doing the male face um, first because I don't want him to get lost in the hat. So that's why I did there. That's why I did that first. And using the highlights and working for me and um with the white gel pen has really helped me um now for the bottom i didn't do an on camera for you guys because that i did that one a color pencil i'm still working on the drawing so it's going to take me quite a while to finish um uh, but if you want to see a finished project uh 
definitely go on my Instagram later tonight and the uh, on my Instagram, which is emina08. Definitely go check that out and it's going to be on my Instagram. Hopefully I'll finish it for St. Patrick's Day, but if not, I might have to go back and finish it at a later day. Uh, but the bottom portrait is going to be a color pencil, kind of like leading up to the eye to the hat. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm working on now. So thank you for watching. Bye, guys.